for a layman, how do we understand the word consciousness? Well, <clears throat> for me, mainly consciousness is our experience. So what we perceive, what we see, what we feel, what we think um, in our whole existence, all that is, uh, is consciousness. Oh, excellent. And so uh, what has science uh, got to tell us about this whole field of consciousness? And is there embarrassment in the field of science about this so-called consciousness? Well, uh, let me say it from my point of view as a physicist. Uh, the physicists have the dilemma. I, as a person, know about consciousness, have my experience and so forth. But as a, a physicist, experimental physicist or even theoretical, uh, consciousness does not exist it's not, it does, it has no formula uh, representation. The force is not represented in the, in the main um, course. So as a physicist, if you work with consciousness, you're immediately out of the box, meaning you, you're not in the mainstream. But for me, consciousness does exist. And I think it's a, it's very uh, um, important to know um, how does it affect our our life, our being, and how does it interconnect. And for me, it's quite clear that there is more than just the material. There's a lot of evidence that our human experience and the world and the universe has more to offer than just pure materialism. Now, the first bridge is energy, because also energy is <clears throat> something different from solid matter as we know it right now. Um, so um, I'm not really sure if, if now is my time for my uh, main statement. I assume it is. Yes, so yes. I just say a few ahead. things about yes. it. Um, I think that um, much more is possible than we think today or a lot of people are very imprisoned by um, materialism, by um, by thinking that that is all that uh, we see and can touch. That's that's mostly everything. But there is a large number of people who know that there is more. And I personally, my message is yes, there there is a lot more, and there could be even much more if we understand and realize. The, the power and the possibilities with thoughts and consciousness. And um, I think it's very important to distinguish between the the body and the and consciousness. Um, if you look at evidence like near-death experience or out-of-body experiences, or, and also I can say I myself have these experiences. So um, you can actually see, realize, and experience that you exist even without the body. So, um, so then, of course, the question arises, how does the body work with, how the mind and the consciousness work with the body? So that's one of my main interests. But um, I also am I'm a very practical person, so I would like to understand how does technology work if we can include the mind how will communication advance travel how can that be be possible with uh, new things and so in my life i concentrated more on the energy side because i think if you uh, need any new propulsion you also need to understand the energy but also gravity and how inertia and gravity works is, is a very important part. So, um, but in all of that, um, I think the first experiment is with myself. The, and, and I can make so many experiments inside myself. 
I don't need any external things. And so I find meditation to be a very, very important tool to start to concentrate and also start to journey in your inner inner worlds, which are very connected to what happens outside, how you can interact with people and also, um, yeah, what happens. So um, for me, the interaction with people is very important. I mean, I can read books and so forth, but if I meet the real people behind it, for me, it's always a much richer uh, experience. I learn a lot more. And uh, and also with experiments, I can say, if you read a book about a complicated experiment, it's very difficult to actually do it. If you go and talk to the people who actually do it, you can pick it up. In